Hello there again guys and girls, ladies and boys and girls. If you had one wish and you had one dream, what would you wish for? Some people, when they look at photographs, they can see memories of people, family and friends, and they wish they could go back to sort things out. But if, you're, if time machines are real, you can look at that photograph and go through it and stop things from happening, preventing time and things from happening. Saving your friends, saving people you love, going back in time to make amends with people and actually, you know, not falling out in the first place. What made people fall out with friends and people move away and family disown other families. You could have a second chance of sorting things out. I mean, there's the time machines on and out of space with the UFOs when they, some people said they've beamed them off into space or sent them back in time for taking a photograph. There could be. What I'm trying to say is, the whole world's a big place out there. You could sort a lot of things out. Imagine illnesses that you people had on this earth now, and you could go into a time machine in the future and bring the fact, the uh, things back, the medicines back to help people to make them survive, preventing them from going to help people, so preventing them from dying, preventing them from taking their own life, and preventing them just to be happy. Could you show them two different world, worlds and say, well, this is what happens in this result and that result. There's no anyway, would they care? Some people would, some people wouldn't. But what I'm trying to say into this video, guys and girls, those young boys and girls, there's a bit, there's a lot more to life than that. This world can be a beautiful place and a nice place. Some people can't see it because of the drugs and the beer. That's what's um, blocking them from seeing what a nice world we're in. I mean, some people would just want to go back and just sort things out. Lots of people have got no friends in the world and they would like to have friends. But other people take them the wrong way and they don't understand them. You know, just looking at photographs, imagine if you can go through them and live your times again. Some people would like that, some people wouldn't. But I'm just trying to think in my own head. Where would you go? What would you do? Would you do things differently? Would it be the same again? Would you spend more time with your mum and dad and your grandma and granddad in the photograph? Of course you would. Would you, I mean, you can go there at the graveyards and speak to your loved ones, but it's not the same. It's like a one-way conversation, or some people can talk to spirits like psychics or mediums. But what do you do? Some people probably don't bother to go to the graveyard because it's too upsetting to see the loved ones there. I mean, could you? would you go back in time and save more people? Convince more people to live in a nice world? And get these drug dealers and idiots off the streets to stop giving your children and your family drugs to kill themselves and... Uh, actually enjoy the world that we're in lots of us get lost and lose our path in the world but we can get out the ruts we're in some of us can't some of us can some people's family pushed them away because of drugs and beer but you know what can you do be yourself some people will listen some people won't or just keep trying in the world that you're in that's all you can do but uh, there's got to be a way if time machines are real, lots of people would go there and sort things out. Some people want the lottery numbers. In my in my opinion, in the time machine, I'd go back and just sort stuff out at school, college, family, foster homes, children's homes. Wouldn't most people do that? Work placements, jobs, the people that we've loved and we didn't want to fall out with, sort them things out. Stop the wars in certain countries before they prevent them from happening. Save more lives. Put more food on the table, open more food banks, or give people a fair enough to, thing to get a job instead of things being expensive all the time because more people haven't got no money, you don't up the prices all the time for gas and oil and uh, council tax, bedroom tax, um, you know, things like that. Most people want more money in their pockets so they don't get it, so they put tax on things so you struggle. That doesn't make it right, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What do you think about this? Am I right or am I wrong what I'm saying? Some people can afford to pay for the penalties of parking tickets and the vehicles and the cars and the things they lend. Other people can't pay it off and get into debt. You know, lots of people do get into debt by horse racing and uh, the bookies and uh, that's why people rob things from shops and stores and stuff because they can't afford stuff or they want to afford their drug habit. 
why can't people just set a table and just help more people? This is more help in the community with social workers and uh, things. Sometimes your family are too busy to help you, so you have to help yourself. It's not an easy thing, is it, guys and girls? Ladies and gentlemen, it really isn't. What What do you really do? Do you just sit here struggling and hoping for the best? But things will change. Sometimes they won't change. You know, all people want is to go back and thanks to people that they've done and help them. Sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. Sometimes they don't know where they live to help them or thank them. And you get these bullies and trollers online that don't have a clue what their life is. They talk about people, but they're in so insecure of their own lives. They don't even know if they're coming or going or what day it is. They want to act like cool in front of their wannabe friends that are only in it for the same thing they do. Trolling people and harassing people, which is not right to harass people and troll people. Because some people are very sensitive, guys and girls, ladies and boys and girls. Not everyone's the same. And, uh, you know, perhaps they haven't got a family model or a figure to help them out. That's why they troll and harass other people because they're bored of their own life. They wish they had a great life like you did. Or they just want to get away with it and upset people. We all are different in the world. We all tick differently. And none of us are the same. If the world was the same, it'd be a boring place. That's why we like all different things like football, cricket, uh, baseball, um, working in different places in the world. If it, some people like the same interests as you, that's great. Then you get on in the room like a house on fire. Other people don't. Other people grind their teeth and bear with it. It's like anything you do in the world is different for a lot of other people. Never the same. They keep you distracted with a lot of things in this world, don't they? To keep you busy. Uh, to see the, the the world is a rough can be a rough place. It's the people that are in it. As you can tell, my arm is a bit achy because I'm holding the phone. Eventually, they'll have to sort of uh, use the other arm, my phone. I know I'm filming my room a lot. That's my PlayStation, as you can see. Obviously, there we go. TV's on. We I just can't be bothered going out of bed. I went for a blood test today in real life, and uh, it was too bad. It made me a bit tired, like you know, most things. People do blood tests. Some people don't. Some people give blood, and it makes them tired for money. But I don't give blood tests out, so I just go for checkups like everybody else. Some people go every year, every month. Depends what's wrong with you. You don't have to be nothing to be wrong with. Some people like to just go to places. The world is very boring. It's moving every year. Things are getting faster and quicker, guys and girls, those boys and girls. And uh, we just have to just cope with what is. That's all we can do. There's nothing else we can do. I mean, perhaps there is a time machine out there, we don't know. Or someone has not told us. If we found out, then it'll be bad news for them. But I don't know. I've had to change the phone over to the other hand because the, obviously my other hand's... Uh, aching that's my tv obviously this is my room and the time is nearly 25 to 7 at night time you can see over there that's the time you can see that it's amazing you can just zoom in on phones and see what times are um yeah so that's all i'm really doing now is just filming the room as you can see i've got that th that thing was on my arm you can see that you just chuck that in the bin that's what they put on when you have a needle so, yeah, this is just my room, me just chilling out and relaxing and talking about life. Some people probably don't understand life, I don't want to know. That's fine. But if you can change reality and change your things, is that what we do, guys and girls, ladies and boys and girls? Would you go back in time and sort things out? Would you keep things the same? Some people don't want to time travel back in life, they want to move forwards. If you could go back and see all the Tudor times, the Victorian times, the Viking times, the medieval times, would you? Or would you see Noah's Ark with Jesus and uh, God there at the Roman times? And the um, Trojans and stuff. Robin Hood times. Would you go back then? Or would you not? Would you rather to watch it on TV reenactment? Would you invent films and games before they wouldn't even come out these days? And predict other things like the mobile phone or the light bulb? Of course you would. But some people have made loads of ideas. There's always ideas that people are making every year. How do they do it? Good imagination, I suppose. That's how they do it. Yeah, this makes you think and wonder. I just thought I'd do a quick video. Obviously, I can't be bothered getting out of bed. 
And why should I? Nothing better else to do, have I? Except talk. Good to talk and get your 